Welcome back to another video, family. We back in this thing. Mash that like button. Quick question. With the Glorilla signing, has Leah Samaya become a background singer in CMG? Because remember, she was almost like the queen of CMG. It was all about Leah Samaya. But she really didn't have no big hit. Well, Glorilla got the biggest hit for the summer. And it just seems like already Yo Gotti is putting more energy. He has more going on, more interviews set up, more stuff already lined up for Glorilla than he did for Leah Samaya. It just seems like Glorilla has taken her spot as far as being that woman in the front of the actual CMG label. Almost... It, it, it could be to the point that Yo Gotti, the picture that they had where all of them was standing there, what what magazine cover that was for, might have been XXL. But um, I could almost see him being like, yo, we needed to redo that cover so I can get Glorilla on here too. Because I just feel as though Leo Samaria, she's cool, but she doesn't have that it, it factor like Glorilla. Even though they're rapper, one's a rapper, one's a singer. But she doesn't have that it factor. And I think Yo Gotti sees that. And it's kind of like pushing Leah Samaya to the back. So I'm calling it right now. I can almost see in maybe a couple years, two to three years, Leah Samaya not even much being on that label no more. Because she's probably going to be like, I didn't get the push that other artists got. So I can almost see like a little bit of jealousy starting to. Show. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm out.